that. Like, people heard me too. Like, what the fuck was that? I was like, I think that was my neck. Jesus. And I was like, I shook it off and, like, kept going and got through the workout. And I was, I was like... And then I had some like heavy deadlifting to do, and I was like, I'm gonna do it quickly before I cool down, because I don't know if my neck's broken. Mate, so, I thought you guys yeah. just did that as part of the shoot. Uh, I thought that was mine. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's actually just let me rub that off. I, literally, <laughs> I, literally, I, sent, him a, I sent him a photo. I sent him a photo this morning. I'm like, you guys got a makeup truck, boys? Because like, <laughs> yeah, we have to do everything from side on. I look like Two Face as a fucking as a Batman. <laughs> Okay, tell, us, tell us what happened to your head first of all. To my head. <laughs> uh, this, yeah. this morning uh, I was just doing a little handstand walk. Uh, I'll work out with some handstand walks in it. And um, one of my fingers sort of like just clipped, um, like the, the matting in the gym was sort of like a little bit, there's a gap. And one of my fingers just clipped and I just like fell like a sack of potatoes and landed really awkwardly head first. And um, kept going, did the workout, but everyone was coming over and looking really concerned. So um, yeah, I've got a little bit of a shiner. Yeah. So, but it's um, hopefully it looks all right in four weeks' time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, mate, it's been two in a row so far. Yeah. Back out there in four weeks. Yeah, man, I'm excited. I um. Yeah, I mean, the goal when I came back was to win the. I really, I had two. I had two goals. One was to qualify for the games. One was to win the Torium Pro and. Um, and yeah, like you know, hopefully now I can. It would be cool to do both in the same weekend. Uh, but yeah, like I was, I obviously had gone and done some weightlifting. I was working with AWF and sort of working towards hopefully nabbing a Commonwealth game spot at Birmingham in 2022. And then obviously had the injury and was rehabbing that. And about six weeks after my surgery, I found out that my weight category wasn't actually gonna be included at the upcoming Commonwealth game. So I had option to lose weight, gain weight, or come back to CrossFit. And um, sort of weighed up all the options, was still very much in a weightlifting headspace at the time, and then ultimately decided that my, my, the thing I wanted to do was go back to CrossFit. Um, and I sort of, I, I had this clear vision of coming back and there was a couple of things I wanted to achieve. One was the games, one was the Torian Pro. So, um, you know, and it's, you know, after winning it twice, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it means as much to other people as it does to me, but after winning it twice, there's like a real, I have a real emotional connection to this competition now. and. Um, to do three in a row would be really special. And it's almost more important for me to win the pro than it is to get the games ticket um, in my head. you know. And then luckily as a fallback, let's say I fall just short, which hopefully I won't, um, maybe I still have a game spot, which would be a nice little, uh, a nice little um, prize at the end anyway. But, um, but yeah, I've definitely got my eyes set on three for sure. Sick. The last time we went to the games as an individual was like 2014, right? Yeah, it was a long time ago. How do you... How do you stay as fit as you are now? I was motivated for like 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19. What, like six years? Five, six well, years? Well, this will be, <laughs> be seven, which I had a look. I, I was trying to like, I actually spoke to someone. I did a podcast a couple of weeks ago. And I said like, I don't know if anyone's ever gone that length of time between, surely that's a record, like between sure. games trips. And apparently, so on the female side, uh, Cheryl Nasso uh, went eight years between trips. So she qualified again in 19 after going in 11. Uh, but on the men's side, I don't think it's, I don't think anyone's gone that far. So everyone else grows up and gets a job and <laughs> does something else. But no, nah, man, I, I don't know. Like it's, I, I don't know. I'm a pretty optimistic guy and I've always felt like there was more in me that I could find and discover and there were different, you know, I always had things that were keeping me going. Um, I had a couple of years in the middle there where things certainly didn't go to plan. I had a bit of a dip in performance and I think, I, I, you know, I've spoken a lot about this. I, f I feel like, you know, there was complacency and lifestyle choices and things that I did that probably didn't or contributed to me not getting the results I, I wanted. And then I had to make some really serious um, decisions and look at myself and figure out what I, if I wanted to keep doing this. And I, I knew that I didn't want to keep doing this just to be, you know, somewhere in the middle of the mix. I was only going to do this if I was going to be good enough to try and push for a game spot. And so, I, you know, the last couple of years have... have headed in a better trajectory and I right now I feel like I'm in the best shape I've ever been in and we'll see how we go in four weeks. Do you, do you want to play on the 3P yeah, do you idea? Want to play on Should we say something like, I'm touring ready, I'm, I'm going coming for three, three. three. I'm coming for three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing on the 3P a bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm coming for three. Yeah. Well, I am coming for three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I don't know. Yeah. Not here to fuck spiders, gentlemen. Yeah.
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandon Swan, and I'm not here to fuck yeah. spiders. And bank that. Bank that. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I think, we, then, I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Blake and Drake, that thing. Uh, I've, got, I've got Blake and Drake. Blake and Drake. And then Drake's like, <laughs> <laughs> Blake and Drake. <laughs> 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 He's like, I was thinking, I'm like, Drake and Blake. <laughs> Drake and Blake. <laughs> <laughs> but I also like Blake and Drake. Yeah. Oh, Blake and Drake. Yeah. Yeah. Do we love Blake and Drake, though? Yeah. It's like it's like hard to say, you know. It's like Bla Blake and Drake. Or it's like Drake and Blake. Drake and Blake. Hey, guys, we are four weeks away. Four weeks away from the Tory and Pro, baby. I am so excited. Brando, what a legend. He's gonna go for a three-peat, and uh, I believe, I believe. That's all. I believe. He's just got that resilience of a uh, well-seasoned crossfitter. So home ground. Hunger for that three-peat. I believe in you, Swanee. I believe in you. So we started shooting this morning at 9.30 a.m. It is now 3.30 p.m. I've had nothing to eat, so I'm gonna treat myself and have some KFC. KFC, I love a bit of KFC. If you ask me which takeaway I like most out of all the dirty takeaway places, KFC would be the one. That is it for today, Tribe. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check the subscribe button. Make sure you've actually hit that. That'd be awesome. Other than that, stay sexy, keep roaring love. I'll see you real soon. Bye.